today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, this is the National Football League. Jones and the New York Giants taking on Davis Mills and the Houston Texans. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Houston Texans and the New York Giants. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. UCLA Bruin Kaimi Fairbairn to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019. Daniel Jones under center. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants but his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete. As long as he takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. It's Barkley on the counter. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Throwing Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Desmond King back deep. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. As the Texans offense runs out, we get a peek at the man under center, second year quarterback Davis Mills out of Stanford. And remember when he came out of college, he left early. So a lot of people weren't really paying attention to this young man, but he's entrusted with a leadership role early in his NFL career and didn't shy away from it. His goal, continue to prove that there should have been one more quarterback that went in the first round of the 2021 draft. First and 10 now for Mills and the Texans at their own 27. Now the rookie fourth round pick. This is Damian Pierce. 
And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. Mills now looks to throw on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The Giants and the Texans last year, if you go by the numbers, the two poorest offenses in the NFL, the Giants 31st in total yardage and the Texans dead last. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go from the 40. Mills. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third. Now Mills. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Good shot, good shot. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Now Jones. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Throw in deep for Galladay. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 32-yard line. A first down carry for Barkley. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Off the play fake, Jones. Going right side, he finds Slayton. 
And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. And the ball smack dab on the 5-yard line. Here's second and goal. Another try for Barkley. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton from six yards away. And the Giants use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point try good by Godot, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive goes eight plays, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Touchdown here to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Opening carry of the game here for Rex Burkhead. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports.
The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Mills. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing, Mills. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Play fake, Mills. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Julian Love picks it, and the Giants are going to take over at their own 41. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. The New York set to take the field. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Off play action. Jones got a man. That's Richie James. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run it again with Barkley. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, he completes it to Robinson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. 
never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Looking to throw. Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Operating from the gun, Jones. Now he's got it. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Barkley will take it in for the Giants' touchdown. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Gano the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that drive in total eight plays, and it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover that plagued it on the last one. First and 10 now for Mills and the Texans at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw, Mills. To Pierce, they set up the screen. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Mills now. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 153 remaining in this first half of play. Hey, 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. <laughs> Mills now from the 50. That's underneath to Pierce. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mills again. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Mills on first down. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So second and four from the 22. Mills to throw it. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Looking to throw his mills. And not able to get it that time. He hit on six straight passes. Not there, second down. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. On second and goal, Mills. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Tay Crowder putting in the work and getting that stop defensively. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. at the 17 now after the loss. It's third and goal. Back to throw. Mills. He's going to find his receiver, Chris Moore. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as it will come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. A 33-yarder from the left hash. Fairbairn able to put this one through, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The 
the Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive and with seven seconds remaining not much time to really do anything they'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground and he's going to lose yardage not that it matters as the final seconds tick away so we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect to see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Taken at the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54. Looking to throw. Mills. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yes. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. A give to Burkhead on first down. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Mills. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. 
On third down, here's Mills. Catch made here by Rex Burkhead, his running back. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. First and 10, it's Pierce. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. The tackle there by the safety, Xavier McKinney. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Up the gut with Burkhead. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he finds Howard complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 26. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. First and 10, Mills. And yet again, it's Howard with a catch. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Coming up on a second and six. Looking to throw. Mills toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Mills from the gun on third down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be stopped short of the first down right around the 18-yard line. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Mills to throw for it on fourth. Open man there is Collins complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. 
And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Oh, Shane Geminis, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. He's going to keep this again. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. third quarter of action you're watching the NFL on EA Sports third and goal and keep in mind very possibly four down territory Working out of the gun, Mills. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Completed pass, brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. Mills to the sideline, and out now is Kaimi Fairbairn for the Houston field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Fairbair now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now out come the Giants. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Start the drive. Jones. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead. Fourth quarter. Yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Three yards remain for second down. 
Operating from the gun, Jones. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Up the middle with Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So out on the field now, Graham Gano in a big spot. This to make it a two-score game. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely... That was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Texans offense set to regain possession. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. First and 10 now for Mills and the Texans at their 25-yard line. A first down throw for Mills. That's caught by Howard. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. To throw again on second down. Mills. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. First down, Mills. 
They'll get this complete to Collins. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. First down now, but that clock rolling. Mills to the air again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Mills going to try and hurry the offense here up to the line. Back to throw again. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he's going to get this down near the 25. It's hurry up mode time for the Texans hustling up to the line. From the 25 on second down, Mills. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air, and defensively, they were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw again. Gets the dump off to Pierce. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. Mills, fourth down, got to have it. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Fabian Moreau, and the Giants are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. And the Giants will kneel it here out of the victory formation. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left.
And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. Charles, in these lower scoring games, you know it better than anybody. Uh, points are at such a premium, but taking care of the football is king. They play turnover free from whistle to whistle, and they come through with a victory. Yeah, and that's what won them the game because even doing it that way, being that clean partner, they weren't able to really run away with this game. So that tells us just how important it was to make sure you played mistake-free football that led to the victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from MetLife Stadium.